All right, boys and girls, I'm out of here. Bye, Roberta. Bye, have a great rest of your day. I hope you do too. Oh, you know it, honey. You can call me honey, though. You can call me honey, too. Yeah, it's like it. Call, hey, I'll do what you want, but don't call me honey. Hey, you can call me honey, too, Roberta. Have I got everything? I think so. My whips? I don't have, think I have them, but we'll see on the way home. Okay, here we are at the bike. Let's get this thing unplugged here and uh, yeah, that baby plugged in, unplugged, plugged in. In other words, I'm going to. Uh, Unzip this lock and uh, yeah, we'll get it set in another position. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> I've had two, and uh, oh, with all my tunes. God damn it! And they're off too. Yeah, they're off. Well, I just can't sit here and poke the other earbud in without starting this radio up. This radio is not uh, not going yet. And what I'll do is I'll lock it right now. See, we put a helmet on because we're just off like a dirty shirt here. There we go, we get tunes. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Like a dirty shirt. Oh, I like that seat where it is right now. Yeah, I like the seat where it is right now. Feels good. My legs don't come up too high, but at the same time, I can pedal and also I can uh, feel comfortable. And that's what I do. Yeah, I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that sky. I think most of the time I, I'm leaning on my hand. I hear something. Do I hear something? No, I guess I don't. <laughs> I thought I heard music. Oh, yeah, they're right here. Oh, my freaking word. What's wrong with me? Well, I have to give you a guess. zipping through my videos like oh I'm not listening to this clown anymore oh, maybe the seat is too low it's going down on me because it was real hard before not now see the sky was supposed to get rain this afternoon and yes the seat is going down my legs are going up way too far There we go. Well, now they're not because I turned it on too. <laughs> Did you catch the zip all of a sudden? 
Look out, here we come. Boom! Oh, I went by it. I'm favorites of the Beezer guy. Raya Heap. I went to a Jethro Tull concert in Providence, Rhode Island with my brother-in-law. And did not know who was the, the uh, starting band. Well, we found out when we sat down and they said, uh, yep, yes, we're going to have you right heap tonight with uh, Jethro Tull. Whoa. Light that fucking doobie up. Let's get fucking high. Oh, that's what that, right there. And we did, too. It was in the upper upper stages of the auditorium and uh, nobody was watching us. <laughs> wow. That was an excellent night. As all night shows that I've gone to have been uh, extremely entertaining because of the fact that, oh man, they're live. How could you, how could you not like a live show? Period. Yeah, I've been to a lot, a lot, a lot of shows since, so oh, let's say 20. I moved to Bristol envelope for my second job. Uh, well, not my second job. Yeah, I got fired from International Paper after 18 years, and I ended up at Worcester Envelope in Auburn. And I became very acquainted with the Palladium. Metal, metal, metal. Live, live, live. Right there at the Palladium. Made a lot of shows. Sure. I remember one show in particular. I used to work at Worcester Envelope, oh, about five miles out of the city of Worcester. Well, I had a part-time job in the city of Worcester in the cellar of a printing spot, uh, Alpha Graphics in Worcester. And it was my second job, and I'd go in at 3.30 work for three hours, nobody else is there because I'm the guy closing the place up. I'm there alone putting in a little bit of overtime and getting some stuff done for the company. And uh, one night I go there and before I go in, I notice the marquee across the street at the Palladium and it says, <laughs> Beer Factory. Yup, been there, done that people. Honey, I'm getting out at 6. I won't be home tonight. I'm still into a metal show across the street at the Palladium. All right. <laughs> Went to the show that home around midnight. Ah, damn. I had a lot of experiences. Yeah. Dark clouds out right now. Ooh, four cars at once. Really? <laughs> That's it, four cars at once. Get off my leg. Get off my leg. Alright, I'm taking the battery in tonight because I've got three left and uh three left, three bars.
high enough. Yeah. You know, if it was a bad day in hell, which I'm not in hell yet, so uh, I guess it's not that bad, but I straightened the camera on it. It was a bad day in hell. So it seems to be a pretty good day. Uh, let's go to higher gear here, Gowie. Alright, punch that button with the camera. So if I'm going less than the speed limit of the gear that I'm in, and I'm spinning the pedals, it will take me along at that speed. If not, I will glide. Unless it's uphill, then it will take me into a, which I need like the other day, like the other day, you know, like, um, you know, I mean the, uh, you know, uh, I was, uh, I need a lower gear, not on the electric, on, electricness, but on the, uh, white gear, and I didn't get it fast enough, so I had to stop, and, uh, oh, got off the bike, and, I mean, the hill was, Fifty percent grade. Oh, ten feet. It was out in the middle of uh, Sterling or whatever the trail. And, uh, uh, I just turned the bike on electric because I hit the throttle and walked up to the bike. like a dirty sheriff, people. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Where do we hit bread? Shit, my wife doesn't drive this fast up this street. Oh, wait a minute, don't she? Yeah, never mind, she does. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> I'm only doing 17. Oh, this is way cool, people. 
way, way cooler. As soon as I take my feet off the pedal, that's it. They go crazy. They know they stop. Look at this Gren Drive. Pedal to the metal. See how we'll go up Gren Drive. But we usually stop at the bottom, but. I'm pedaling a little bit, but I'm not pushing myself to. I'm going along with the pedals and giving a little bit of thrust, but I'm in a different gear. I'm in uh, six. Wow, what a big gear range. Big time gear range on this thing. Fifth gear. Awesomeness. Double. And boy, this frickin' bike is a monster. Just the frickin' wheels connote that. Something in the back too. Yeah, I can't see. Free, free, free. people. We're home. Yeah, we're home. And it's going to be six miles. Yeah. Six miles. Oh, so I got two coins today. I gave up a coin to have a drink. And I, uh, Got two coins back, and I bought the bar. I bought the bar a drink. It was one, two, three, four of the people there, and myself. Then I used the coin for my second drink. Then I got another coin back, and then I got another coin back. Wow, I'm liking this freaking bicycle. This freaking thing is tough. <laughs> no hill I can't go up, people. I think we're going to scrape this fucking bar. If I keep going over and over and over again with this uh, lock. Just the head. The rest is on a, I don't know, canvas. So polythene, polyester, polyurethane. Is this this for you? Know. guy's new bike. I'll get honey. I know. I don't stay home and help you, but you're a late girl. You do it on your own. <laughs> what can I say? You don't get up at noon time. I'm done by noon time.
my box. the hose out. She says after a year it's leaking. Okay. Toss it. Only 20 bucks. Shit, that's nothing. I got 20 bucks. I know it. Every time I get into that box, then I gotta go over somewhere and get the key. Very seldom it's unlocked. Good. Don't want to unlock. Should get the key anyway. Fifty-five. Not even four in the clock. Was that the entire trip all the way from Ambitz to home? Okay, I'll go along with that. She is. Oh, went to the beauty parlor today.